Sport and time is running out for Cheltenham Town as they try to avoid relegation. Their opponents tonight, Swindon, aren't clear of danger either. Well, Alistair Durden has uh, this report from the County Ground. Well, it's just two wins in 21 games for Martin Allen's Cheltenham since he took over. That's why they're in the trouble they are. And Danny Wilson hasn't been able to pull Swindon clear of trouble since he got the job here at the county ground. If we have a look at the league table, we can see just how serious things are. Swindon are just above the relegation zone, but only on goal difference. And Cheltenham, well, 12 points adrift, effectively 13 with that inferior goal difference. Yeovil and Hereford play each other tonight. Those two teams are still involved in it as well and Bristol Rovers, they're hosting Brighton. They could do everybody a big favour by beating the South Coast Club tonight. Now, if you add into that Cheltenham's financial problems as well, last week they told all their players they were available to speak to other clubs. You can see the dire situation for them. Let's speak to Russell Milton, former Cheltenham player. Uh, Russell, it's hard at the moment for Cheltenham. Uh, how serious is the situation? It's very serious, probably you know, the most serious that the club have had since uh, they've been in the league, uh, financially and on the playing side, you're looking at you know, 12 points off of safety, uh, and then last week, like you said, we've had all the, all the players uh, you know, being sold, they're up for sale and ready to go, so uh, I think Martin Allen's just looking at getting 11 to 12 players out on the pitch at the moment, and uh, you know, it's very difficult times. He says it's affecting results, but that's his job, isn't it, to prevent that happening? Yeah, it is. he's got to get the players going, whichever 11 to 16 he gets out there. Um, I th generally, we have been the spirit has been pretty good, but uh, we've fallen short, I think, on a, on a number of things, and you know it's just very difficult times. And I'm, I'm sure that you know we just hope the Cheltenham spirit will, will keep them up. Ed Hadwin is fronting BBC Radio Swindon's coverage tonight. They're not quite so serious at Swindon. Are they in danger at all of relegation? I think they will be if they lose tonight. The honest answer is they're playing well enough to make sure that they stay in League One, but they're not getting the results. It's been the same all season. Danny Wilson's getting them playing good football, but tonight is a big, big match in horrible conditions. Yes, I think you can probably see the weather is really not very good here, but uh, plenty more straight talking from these guys on BBC Radio Gloucestershire and BBC Radio Swindon, and we'll have the result in our 10 o'clock bulletin. Alistair looking very wet and uh, very windy up there, obviously. Yeah, he's looking rather soggy. And we've just heard, by the way, that Yeovil's match against Hereford has been postponed, and that's because of a waterlogged pitch. Well, and Cheltenham manager Martin Allen has been assured his job is safe. Last night, the team ended a run of seven straight defeats with a two-all draw at Swindon. The Cheltenham squad was put up for sale last week, but the manager says no more players will be leaving. Martin Allen has been fending off calls from agents since his entire squad was made available for transfer. Two players have left as well as one of his coaching staff, but the cuts will end there for now. You know, I've been on my own with no staff to help me. You know, we've come into this game without even a scouting report being done on Swindon. We, you know, we, we, did, we ain't seen them play. It's not easy to um, tell everything at the moment, what's been going on. But a lot happened last week at our training ground. I don't care what anyone says, you can be the best motivator in the world, but it does affect. But, um, you know, tonight they've come out and uh, I'm very, very proud of all the players. And that involved fighting back from a goal down as Swindon struck first through Hal robson Carney. That advantage, though, lasted just a minute. Elvis Hammond bagged the first of his two goals. His second had Alan side heading for a first win of 2009, but Kevin Amanqua clawed Swindon level. While Cheltenham remained deep in trouble, Swindon aren't clear of danger themselves. We can't get caught up in the emotions of it all. We really have to try and uh, separate ourselves from that and really concentrate on, uh, on the job in hand. And if we can do that, we'll, we'll have a great chance. Because, uh, like I say again, today we, we play some good stuff at times. Just a point keeps Swindon out of the drop zone. Alistair Durden, BBC Points West. It was a real relegation scrap at the county ground, with both teams desperate for points in their battle against the drop. Swindon came close to an opening goal when defender Jack Smith popped up in the penalty area but headed wide of the target. On loan Reading winger Hal robson Canu has proved an excellent recruit for the Robins and he produced a superb solo strike to put the home side ahead. The youngster was allowed to run from inside his own half but once given a slice of goal finished clinically to show why he's so highly rated by his parent club. However Cheltenham levelled within a minute and it was the much maligned Elvis Hammond who found the back of the net. Hammond's erratic displays have drawn criticism from sections of the town support, but he emphatically blasted past Peter Brezovan and then celebrated in style. 
Smith again demonstrated his attacking instincts to set up another chance for Swindon, only for top scorer Simon Cox to drag his shot wide of goal. And in the second half, it was basement side Cheltenham who took a shock lead. Hammond was again the hero as he latched onto a long throw from Lee Ridley. But this time his somersault was slightly less spectacular. The visitors couldn't hold on to their lead though, and Swindon equalised when Kevin Amankwa thumped a header into the net. The sides both had chances to win it, with Scott Brown saving well from Cox. But a draw suits neither team as they battle for League One survival. 